Hello, friends. It's episode five of the Kobe Speedwalk. Uh, I would like to begin by doing a little bit of housekeeping. I'm aware that the volume of these videos is low. I have not figured out a way to fix that. I hope that that's okay, because I'm at the end of my rope and don't have any ideas. If you have any ideas, go ahead and tell me. I'm just going to continue doing this for now, because it is at least listenable. So, thank you for your patience. Second, I have become aware that the gameplay box, like the, the Game Boy screen, uh, on this recording has been squished literally this entire time. Uh, the Game Boy Color is actually 1000 by 900, not 900 by 900. So I've fixed that, and the left side that I'm on is now 100 pixels narrower. So enjoy your more accurate uh, Game Boy Color game viewing experience. Uh, other than that, allow me to inform you what I did offline. You can see here, I actually did manage to get the Martian Puppeteur that I need for the Dark Crab. So, this took a little bit of work, but not as actually as much as I was expecting. Um, I bought four ribs, uh, went to go get a Puppador, and I think got it second or third try, but it was a Venusian one. I went back to buy five more ribs and used that Puppeteur to get a third Puppeteur, and that's this one. So there's actually a third, uh, another Puppeteur currently on the farm that I'm not using for anything. And it's not going to be helpful for basically anything, because we already have two monsters that are going to have Pheromone on our team. And it cost me 800 gold to get, but it's fine. It's fine! It, 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 it's fine. And it only took me like 20 minutes to do all of this. Uh, there's one more thing, which is... While I was getting the Puppeteurs, I had a meatless recruit for this Ag Devil. <laughs> Uh, literally did not put any meat in the fight. I'm pretty sure it was solo, and I was killing it for experience, and then it just offered to join, and then I basically just held my head in my hands and thought, do I accept the recruit, or do I reject it because it's offline and against the spirits of the challenge? And I decided I would not take it. I will earn an Ag Devil on stream. I told y'all I'm only going to get the Puppeteur offline, nothing else, or I implied it at least, and I stayed true to that, so... We are still at 24 monsters because we already had Puppetor. We're about to go to 25. And that's what I'm going to do when time resumes, which I will say is 3, 2, 1. All right. So, we know what we want. Rogue Knight. No. <laughs> no. No. No, do not. Do not hatch it. This is crucial. Um, I was wrong, by the way. I picked the wrong star sign for the uh, Roboster. I was actually supposed to pick the other one so that it could recruit the Puppeteur for the Dark Crab. I mentioned that in the description of the last video. So, uh, again, I think it's up a little bit. Uh, is this open yet? Oh no, it's not open yet. Well, so I'm gonna have to go back and grab the uh, Roboster put it on the team. Anyway. Okay, this rogue knight is female, and I'm pretty sure the roboster is male or Martian, uh, so I don't have to make a change, but we're, we're just about to see and confirm that. Um. Yep, okay, good. So, all set. We have a robot that is Martian. We're about to have a knight in, sh in shining armor, or actually rather dark armor. It's like dark blue armor that is going to be Venusian. And with those two, we will be able to get whichever star sign we want, anytime we want. And because monsters can always be eligible for skills that their parents knew at the time of breeding, as long as I don't overwrite Pheromone with anything else, I will be able to keep Pheromone on every monster that this Rogue Knight and this Roboster, uh, make in the future. We'll do this. Okay.
Good. Picked some stuff up from the, uh... Vault. Picked some stuff up from the vault there. Um... That's right. 54, and Vivify is how much again? I should have checked this offline, but it's okay. Vivify is... Level 14 and... 98 intelligence and 63 MP. So unfortunately, the wild ape is not, not really in good shape to, to learn Vivify, which is the whole reason that I got the orc to make the Mad Pecker. Um, but it's fine. It's fine. Oops. So instead of going directly into the death zone of this tower, we're going to do a little bit of leveling up here. I want to level up outside a little bit here first, because we are going to go to Skyworld this episode, but I also really did want to get some of the items that are in the ice tower, uh, because they're pretty good. Uh, a lot of them just sell for a lot of money, which is nice for beating the game. Uh, and I think two of them are just very useful in general. And this is on top of the bolt staff that we sold for money and the Draco belt that's currently on one of our monsters. Uh, right over there. Uh, okay. Um, which of these is the biggest threat? The healer. Always target the healer. Now just go for it. Pretty interesting set of monsters here on the island. Overall. Blur Dance. I already have Big Trip. I don't need Rob Dance. Here we go. Rogue Knight has Heal in its species moveset. So now we have two healers. One of them actually has MP. Pheromone you learn at level four, and the experience er, and the stat requirements are like negligible. Every monster is going to learn it, if not at level four, then soon. So very nice. Pheromone just makes everything so so easy. It's a very comfy skill. Pop back to Great Log for the quick heal, and now we are going to clear out Ice Tower. Also, something that makes me sad is after you do all of the story stuff, hold on, it's, after you do all of the story stuff in Ice, the overworld music shifts from the extremely sad, cool music to uh, just the regular theme. It makes me sad. It's you who has it? Oh no, it's the Rogue Knight that has it. So, we are not going to be able to use Step Guard just yet. I'm pretty sure Step Guard you get at level 10. Um, Golem's the biggest threat. Stop spell. <sighs> Kidding me, dude. Well, this is some nice experience. Uh, I guess we'll leave. Rain Slash is a good skill. It's basically a physical attack against everything. Against all three of your opponents. Slightly weakened. So there we go. Step Garden outside. Pretty good. Metal Cut. Metal Cut will be useful. Metal Cut will actually remain useful for quite some time. Okay. So hopefully we don't get trolled by more Ag Devils.
something that's always funny is that the animation for traveling to another world is like uh, makes the video playback systems very very unhappy so I always get very blurry while it's playing and then it goes back to normal but I just I like watching that happen it's, it's very funny to me cool 2 MP and now hazardous tiles do not hurt us Uh, yes. So this is a little puzzle with the cloud that you get from clearing ice. It's nice. The solution here is you need to use your cloud from tiles that are initially covered in ice. Like so. There you go. Pretty good. No trolley encounters just yet. Uh, y'all are big boys. Take care of it yourself. And gals, or whatever. Robots. Robots, animated suit of armor, and monkey. That's the squad. Radiant. Radiant's not bad. I don't need Odd Dance. I thought Odd Dance was sidestep for a second. I was like, no, I don't want to get rid of that. I'm actually looking at a map because I forget the layout of this, of this dungeon. Smart Book. Okay, I can explain what books are. Brave Cape. Um, yes. So, monsters in this game have a personality. Um, which is just like, it, it, it tells you, it gives you a little bit more information about what tactics they're likely to use, or what, what specific moves they're likely to use when you give them tactics like charge, mixed, or defense. Um, but also, um, which, ta which orders you give them changes their personality. Uh, this is like a very interesting thing to know, but it just from like my perspective it doesn't fucking matter like even a small amount like it is completely inconsequential so the book changes a monster's personality okay this is the mace is the uh mage ring i'm gonna replace the mermaid scale with that so now the monkey is going to get a little bit of an mp boost which hopefully will help it qualify for vivify which of these two tiles okay well first we have to clear this incoming sacrifice uh-oh monkey is not okay That should do it, or it should do it on this turn. There we go. All right, no sacrifice troll, and a lot of experience. Love to see both of those. Iron Eyes and Evil Slash. Uh, isn't that ironic? I don't need Radiant, actually. Evil Slash is also good. Evil Slash covers more use cases than Metal Cut, but Metal Cut is good for specific things. Increase is good. I'm going to choose Evil Slash over Metal Cut. Um, and I'll explain why during a boss fight in Sky, but I'm not going to spoil it any sooner than that. I go from the left tile. Yes. And then right from the top tile there, and then up. We 
We made it to the top of the tower. Here are the last two chests. So the Divine Ring restores, what is it, MP with every step? Useless. Useless bullshit. We do not want it. We do not need it. Um, there's always faster ways to heal. The other item that we got is the Meaty Orb. Uh, it is an auto-success, basically, uh, as long as the monster is recruitable. It can't recruit bosses. It can't recruit, it can't recruit boss-type monsters. Uh, and there's some monsters that just innately are not recruitable, aside from bosses. So, interesting. <gasps> Metal Drac. Interesting, interesting. We haven't seen one of those. We have seen the Puppetors and the Ag Devils and the Golems, but we have not seen Metal Dracs. Keep in mind that on at least the top level of ice, and maybe the fourth level, that's the fifth level that we're on, there are Metal Dracs. And Metal Dracs are very good for specific things. So... Oh, here's another important item, which is the Brave Cape. I sort of... I got it at the same time as the Smart Book. And again, the Smart Book is useless. I'm actually going to go sell it immediately. The Brave Cape prevents skills from being sealed. That's pretty good. Um, especially for a monster that's supposed to act as the uh, Vivify or Revive caster. So, book sells for 7,500. Not bad. Pretty good. We don't need friend staves. Sell for that good. Don't need the Divine Ring. It sucks. Uh, we'll keep the mer Merm Scale as like a... Actually, no, we can use the Brave Case, uh, Brave Cape as the uh, item, uh, equip item for swapping purposes. And... I don't think we're actually going to need these ribs, but I'll buy two just in case. How are we doing? Warp staves, Twitch bookmark, world dues, potion, one world leaf. And then we're going to deposit the meteor. I really do not want to use the meteor by accident. I really do not want to use the meteor by accident. I want there to be no chance of me using that thing by accident. So I'm going to put it the fuck away. Ah, uh, okay. So, at this point... Oh, okay. By the way, here's the plot. If you go up here... You have to tell this guy yes in order to advance the plot. So, he takes you to the king. The king just straight up gives you the next key. They're like, this is easy. We didn't have to do any, like, giving people monsters or anything. We just say... Yeah, we'll go find your son. Anyway, what I was going to say is... These three monsters are now, at this point, pretty well equipped to uh, handle... What the Sky World has to offer. So... And... When in my notes do I say to breed the Wild Ape? Well, I mean, it kind of doesn't matter. Uh, because... The Wild Ape doesn't have Vivify yet. Again, it needs Intelligence 98 and MP 63. So we're going to be able to hit that uh, MP requirement. Um, I don't know about the other one. That might, that might present us with some difficulties. Also, there's some, like areas up there. There's the library. The library is your Pokédex. There's the uh, magic key guy. He helps you with the bonus worlds. There's the renamer. The renamer allows you to rename. And up at the top there is the pub. And at the pub, right now, I'm pretty sure, unless it's in the arena, I forget which, but at the pub, there are people who will uh, breed monsters with you. Earlier, there was one that I decided not to use that uh, offers you a spiky boy, but I did not I opted not to use it. He's gone now. Right now, there's someone who wants to breed a wild ape with me. And when you mix two wild apes, you get a pretty good monster. So we will do that later. What do we got? Okay. These monsters, specifically at like the beginning stage of Sky, are like not very... We're right by Funt, so my notes say, near Funt. Funt is also a fun word to say. 
love water. Not the best. How are we doing? 86. Okay. Okay, we're getting there. We need 12 more. I want to get that... Uh, I want to get Vivify by, like, a certain point that's coming up soon. Uh, do we need to talk to this guy? Okay. So there's a Whale Mage. I, again, I don't remember if we need to talk to him. Do we have any wild? No. Okay. So the plot is over here. Um, this tower will only let you in if all of the monsters with you have wildness zero. Um, and again, babies start with wildness zero. So this is ultimately not very hard. I am now struggling to remember. A to D. F. Oh no, we don't want to go that way. C. T. G. Okay. So that treasure chest is just an exit bell. Which is like, wow, are you fucking kidding me? Not worth it. We have outside, and also that item is like 100 gold at most. So now we have heal all. We also have beat. We can tell our enemies to beat it. I think beat is probably better than stop spell. Yeah, I'm pretty sure somebody else on our team knows stop spell. Oh yeah, Monkey Nose stop spell, so we're good. You don't really need to. The monsters in this tower are a lot tougher than uh, the ones right outside. Like, a lot tougher. This is actually a little bit of a big deal. We need to be a little bit more careful. Our monsters are still overall very strong for this area. Like, we're, we're where the game would expect you to be, or better. Fight the fly, heal all, fight the saber ran. That'll do. Okay. Belzebub. Love a good Belzebub. Twin hits. Okay, yeah, we need we need twin hits. Badly. That's the problem. There's too many good skills. I'm gonna forget Iron Eyes. We'll be fine. How are we doing? We getting smart? 89. We need 98. So nine more. Come on, monkey. Learn faster. And then the map says to go... I went the wrong way. Shoot, now I'm a little bit lost. <sighs> ah, it's not coming back to me. Where am I? E. No, I went the wrong way. I need to go back up here. Yes, okay. Step guard's effect wore off, that is fine. And now I remember we take the outside path here. Robots just not taking any damage. I love Robosters so much. My favorite monster when I was a kid and also a very good strategic choice for speedrunning too. A mad condor? Uh-oh. It just stole a really good item. Fuck. I'm using a bookmark here because of a very funny clip from when I was working on this game the first time. The guide that I'm using says that the magic key is the one on the left, and the cleric ring is the one on the right. But... 
it's actually the exact opposite. So, I'm glad I remembered that. Get out of here? Outside. Again, just like with the magic key that was on Sleeper Mountain, we do not want it. We need to be stronger first. Now that we've watched the orb get taken away by the Mad Condor, we have to talk to this guy again. Oh wait, it's behind the grave. Oops. Sorry, sorry. Small error. Change staff. And with the change staff, I can transform myself into a monster. Oh god, I turned myself into a big roost. Run over. Reset. I hate big roost. Least favorite monster in the game, and I will tell you why later. We'll have to talk about bonus worlds, but it's too soon to talk about bonus worlds just yet. Robot learned by attack. Extremely good skill. I don't need... I don't need DKOS. That's going to come back to bite me, by the way. Saying that I don't need DKOS. Yeah. This is just good experience, and I really want my monkey to get smarter. I'm gonna take it. I have a log twig with me, right? I'm pretty sure I do. Now I need to check. Plus three. Okay, so we need six more. I have two. Love water. Useless. We transformed into a monster because this guy will not let you pass until you are a monster. And then, as soon as he walks away from you, he instantly falls asleep forever. He will never wake up. So this path is just open now. Uh, fastest way to get there. Ooh. Agility seed. I was like, is that an int seed? No. We'll just go ahead and use that. It's cluttering our inventory. I'm gonna go this way to head to the next place with plot. Where did we end up? All right, that works. We're by the Mad Condor's nest, but we don't want to fuck with that just yet. Um, elf water restores all of your MP. It's an extremely valuable item both in terms of gold and usefulness, it's good. Laurel. This is not even worth the time that it takes to sell it. It, it removes curses. That might sound good. You don't get cursed very often. It's basically a waste of time. That tunnel passes through a bunch of rocks. Um, there's a town north of the tile that I'm on, but it doesn't have any plot in it, so I don't have any reason to stop by it. I'll eventually go back there later to collect monsters, but I'm skipping it because it doesn't save any time or help anything to go there. Here is where we want to be. This is where everything is hip hop and happen. Also, I'm going to put it here. I can, I'm a, I can handle that. So our log twig over at Ice Tower has, has left. Could only have one at once. But that's actually fine. And I think I said earlier that I was going to use a log twig and I would probably never use one ever again. That was it. This place is so useful to go to and so far away from the default uh, shrine position in Sky that I could very well never touch it again. So actually, I will sell these. Do not want them. How many do I have? I have lots of money, so I'm mostly selling things for inventory space. Uh, don't need this. Two, that's fine. And I need to keep the change staff in my inventory for plot reasons. Ah yes, the cleric ring. What the? I got the cleric ring. Ugh. I have enough MP, now I just need the smarts. Okay. Oof. That might take some grinding. 92. 
needs 98. So um, the stack growth rings add plus three to whatever you would get normally. So if his next level up would have given him plus three, I will make it. Hopefully it will be only one. Now, this merchant is extremely important because he sells sirloins and repellents. We got one repellent earlier on in Pirate, and we used it to get through the, the final part of Pirate, because that's probably the best place to use it. Now, I can just warp to Sky and buy them. None of the three merchants on Great Log, we haven't unlocked one of them yet, but we will, sell repellents. So I need to be able to buy repellents. <laughs> and this is my man's. This is my man's who's going to sell them to me. So, love that. And he also sells World Leafs, uh, which is nice. Cause no, I don't think anybody else sells those either. either. And he sells sirloins, which are the most powerful meat. So we're going to buy three of those. Um, I don't have to do anything for the plot here. Yeah, I don't have to do anything for the plot here. Um, right now is when I would do some breeding for a very specific reason that hopefully we'll get to this episode. I think we probably will be able to make it. Let's go ahead and get our monkey to learn Vivify again. If a monster knows a skill at the time that it breeds, the baby is eligible for it. If the, if the if it's not a species skill and the monster doesn't know it, it can't be passed on. Do not need that. Okay. Probably one more fight will do it. I also took the in because I felt like it was right there. Oh wait, that's right. I don't have to walk around. I can just summon an encounter. Like, it doesn't matter which star sign these two have because I'm just going to kill them. But I don't have to walk around for encounters. I need to keep that in mind. Pheromone's very useful. Pheromone's useful for that too, on top of all the other ways that it's useful. Let's see it. Ah! Of course, of course. He needs 98. Okay, but it's not going to be too bad to get him that last level. This is guaranteed because, again, the ring adds plus three to whatever he would learn naturally, even if he would was going to get plus a zero. Uh, doesn't matter. He'll qualify. Although I think there's some sort of weird... Like, interaction with the rings that might make me have to do an yet another level on top of that. I don't think it applies here, but I've encountered it in the past. I just don't remember exactly how it works. Okay. Right. Pheromone. These individual monster encounters are cake, and I love them. Also, I love that Pheromone is the first skill that Robot knows. It's a guy. It's a little guy. We'll use a rib on him. Get him. Yes! He gives a lot of experience points, and he's useful for breeding. So if we don't recruit him, it's fine, but. What? What? Level 14, MP 63, int 98. That's everything. Or maybe it's the stats that you require when you level up. I know there's some weirdness. I think it's because of the ring. I think it's because of the ring. But anyway. <laughs> just a just a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Also, I forgot to mark something earlier. I forgot to mark Rogue Knight. There he is. Or I guess the Rogue Knight is a Venusian. So there she is. And I don't have anything else. I've already marked Wild 8. I have. I haven't recruited or bred anything else so far.
Oh yeah, no, stay on the skills menu. Keep going. This really for reallys really for real Z's really ought to be the last level that Monkey needs to get, and then I am going to breed him. This might be enough. Oof. We'll heal Monkey up if we need to. Here we go. Come on, let me see it. Yes. I do not want Ice Bolt. Finally! Okay, let's get out of here. What do my notes say? Now I'm completely forgetting where I'm supposed to get Andriol. Whatever, it doesn't matter. So, I'm pretty sure that the Wild Ape person is in the pub. So. And who eventually is... Okay. Alright, so... We have not recruited the monster that is going to mate with the monster that these two monkeys are going to make, so I can hatch freely. Oh wait, oh, the spanky, the spanky boy guy is now. I, okay, I got, I got, got confused. The spiky boy guy is not really useful to us. We already have to route in mating with a material type monster in to get the pheromones, so having yet another one of those, not, not that important. Alright, so this is going to make a trumpeter. I'm not going to mark it yet because we haven't hatched it, and hatching it is when it gets added to your library. Technically. Also, we might not make it to the reason why I want an evil slash and metal cut on one of my monsters. Not yet. But, we might. It depends on how well this next section goes. Also, I'm going to withdraw my equipment. I have two vitamin belts? I don't remember where I got the other one from. Whatever. Guess we have it, and the Rogue Knight is not going to be leveling up much more, so... Switch to having more HP rather than earning more HP. Where did the Mage Ring go? Do I still have it in my inventory? Cleric, War, Mage. Oh, there it is. So now we have all three of the stat growth rings. Those are the, These are the three stat growth rings that I've routed in. They're easily accessible. The other ones I don't even think are available. Uh, why did I go here? <laughs> to give a sirloin to mom? No. Denied. Sorry, Mom. Again, sweeten the deal for us and we'll hand over the meat. Should I give it to her anyway out of principle? I'll think about it. So yeah, because this is the third monster, the one that doesn't have pheromone, it does not matter. Because the other two monsters are going to give it its mate, which we do not have yet, when the time comes. Um... What's a good... Oh, yeah. Cool. 
and I'm going to help his... Oh, his intelligence is extremely high, so we're going to give him the mage ring. So his MP, by comparison, is a lot lower, and his HP is fine for now. HP is not needed to qualify for a lot of skills, and when it is needed, it's most often for combat skills. So, that's the logic there. Ah, uh, yes. Mark it. Mark a trumpeter. There we go. If my story route for the monsters that I'm getting seems complicated, that's because it is, and I'm almost definitely going to turn it, uh, tone it down in the future. It's, it's, it's excessive. Um, where is Hitano Capsule? I need to, like, remember where Hitano Castle is. Because it's a very important area for breeding. This isn't it. Where's the map? Ugh. Monster King's castle is... Oh, that's where it is. Okay. Now it's all coming back to me. Not really. Um, I guess if I go past... Ooh, ouch. I did not remember to defend as Dumbo. Oh, Dumbo honestly did a decent amount of damage there. Not bad for a newbie. For a newbie. Get some nice experience for our elephant. Get him up and running. Yeah, I'm, I'm noticing that there's not a lot of natural MP growth, so the mage ring is really doing some work here. Yeah, plus four. That means it was plus one. Plus five, that means it was plus two. Um, twin slash sucks. Do not want it. Panicall is very good. Panicall is very good. Panicall is in fact so good that when enemy monsters use it, it's different from when you use it because if you had it used against you, you would die. Very, very often. They had to nerf it for the benefit of the player. That should tell you something. Or it's like a... Uh, it's like in Pokemon where status, like in the first gen of Pokemon, where status moves have a chance to fail that yours do not. Okay. Now, this monster that I want needs to mate with. Okay. The robot. It is neither of those. Ooh. No berserker. Um Alright, we're not actually going to use Errand. Errand is a funny skill, but it's not actually helpful. Basically, you spend gold and then you get an item. I don't think you can use it in dungeons. It's, it's a very silly skill, so not important. Ah, there is it. There it is. We're just going to take these one at a time. doing these things in a very particular order. Black Cloud. Mm -hmm. 
that is a very interesting and, imp like, very, like, circumstance-affecting move. Is, is the best way that I can describe it. It does a lot of things, uh, all at once. Also, I forgot that I wanted to use another rib, but it doesn't matter. This should be a recruit. Sirloins are very strong. I do not want war cry. Yes. What were we up to? Do we have P? For safety, I'm going to pick Q. I do not remember. Okay. So that's good. Um, how are we doing? People are mostly feeling fine. Trumpeter doesn't have a lot of MP because it's used a lot of it. That's fine. We got excited. Tiny metal? No. 43 gold. We're about to pass by a cool cave. Cool cave. Oops, I wanted to change uh, tactics for Dumbo. Okay. Dumbo the elephant. Nice Kingdom Hearts reference. Right, so if we go down from here, it should take me to where I want to go. Yes, this looks familiar. Good. One of those monsters is the one that we want. I won't spoil it. I might have even s I think I said it under my breath earlier. It's neither of these two. So that's Rock Slime and Fireweed. Hashtag 420. Hashtag Blaze It. Hashtag Nice. Hashtag Funny Number. Uh, so it's Lionx or Andreal. Place your bets. Place your bets now, unless I already said it, in which case... Cool. Hustle. I don't want that. Oh, that's really interesting. So... What you just saw was skill combining. There are some very rare instances in which uh, the game will uh, give you a skill that you were not otherwise eligible for, basically, by combining the skills that you already have. So you need to have certain skills, and you also still need to qualify for it, qualify for it the other parts of it. But it does not require you to have a species qualification or a breeding qualification for the skill. It's, it's neat. Uh, not really important for the speedrun, though. Um, there aren't any moves that you can learn from combination that are, like, important. Also, this is an absolutely fucking ridiculous encounter. Like, I am... It, it, it really doesn't get much worse than this. I got hit by Surround, turn one. Surround lowers your accuracy. It's a very annoying move. Uh, and now I'm poisoned a lot. Come on. I'm using these world dues because I really just want to get this over with. It's going to take forever at this point. Okay, please, please just join my team so I can get out of here. This thing's also tanky, on top of everything else. Alright, what do you say? Oh, yeah, that's the problem, is that uh, when you can when you combine skills, uh, it prompts you every single time you level up. So actually, I think I'm going to delete one of the skills. What do you need? Heal all and sidestep? Oh no, those are both good. God damn it. Sleep all, sandstorm. I don't need sleep all. There is another way around it, which is I could just learn Hustle, but Hustle's not a very good skill. Yes. Okay. R. Cool. 
Cool, we got what we came here for. Uh... <laughs> uh, let's add Mad Spirit and Andriol to our tracker. Good. All set. Okay, now it's time for some important breeding. Just in case, I'm gonna save. Base monster is Mad Spirit. Oh, I skipped P. I skipped P. Okay, well, P was for Puppetor. Uh, I just made them slightly more descriptive. This one is. This monster is so rare that it actually will not tell you what it is until you've made it. Dead Noble. Mm hmm. Rogue Knight. Andriol makes Metal Drac. I did mention that uh, Metal Dracs are available at the top of the tower of Ice Tower. It takes a little while to get there, so it's not the most optimal, but it is a guaranteed spawn location for them, so it is worth it. Um, also, Metal Drac is extremely useful as a breeding ingredient. You use it to make a ton of stuff. Uh, I think it's the second most important breeding monster after one that we will encounter in the next world. But again, I won't spoil it. Uh... Nope, nope, I'm not gonna ask you to bless a blind. Egg. Okay, Venus. Okay. It doesn't matter which one is which, they just need to be different. Good. Confirmed. Dead noble. Alright, we're not going to get to the next important plot thing. But I will do a little bit of grinding to get these guys up to speed. MP. Okay. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. So, War Ring onto the Trumpeter, because uh, Dead Nobles have some of the worst uh, MP growth in the game, and I want to mitigate that. Putting the Cleric Ring on... Actually, I don't like that. I don't like that. I'm going to swap. Where's my Brave Cape? More HP is more useful than more... Uh, Intelligence, because intelligence is, like, basically only used to qualify for skills. So, Metal Drac is about to get a ton of levels. I would much rather it get a ton of HP than a ton of int that it probably does not need and probably will never need. Whereas, if the Trumpeter levels up and gets more int, that's fine, but it's already gotten a lot of use out of its Mage Ring. Uh, doesn't really need any 
any more oomph in that area. And H, uh, and, uh... Did I say? Yeah. HP for the Metal Drac that's about to level up a ton. Mage Rain to counteract the Dead Nobles. Extremely poor MP growth. And then, since I have a third ring, I put it on the Elephant. Because the Elephant's already mostly grown anyway. That's the logic. Anyway, we currently don't have a monster with pheromones, so we do have to walk around a little bit. <clears throat> we do have to walk around a little bit, but not a lot of bit. There we go. Babies, protect yourselves. Do you have anything better than that? No, 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 no. Kill yourself. Good. Here it comes. Lots of learning skills. Pheromone? There we go. I just love that sound, don't you? -na 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 -na. Yeah, we get it. Unfortunately, the game kind of has to do this one at a time so that you can choose your skills properly, or like, skipping ahead in levels would deny you crucial, uh, crucial information and opportunities, so... I get it. I do not, generally speaking, want offensive skills. They offend me and my sensibilities. Awesome, preemptive. Oh, they're still on defensive. Oops. Just about, we're just about running in on time, so I'll go ahead and head to Great Log for the heal. Uh, and I probably don't even need to do any more grinding. Actually, I probably do, because I want a very specific skill. And that skill requires... Level 15? And our dragon's only level 12, so save one more time. Okay, pause timer. Cool. So, party upgrade. Uh, we've got some pretty good monsters. Uh, these guys will be able to do a lot of damage and get a lot of stuff done. So, that is the party upgrade session. Uh, next episode, we're going to do a lot of plot for Sky. Probably most of it, I think. Most, if not all of it. Because I don't think I'm doing any more breeding until I've finished Sky. Um, yeah? No. That's all of the breeding done for Sky. So the next time we breed will be after Sky is done. We'll probably be able to knock out all of the Sky plot in one episode. We'll see if we can do it. Until then, thanks for watching.